In this episode, you'll learn how to make your foundation model's framework responses deterministic if that's what you need in your application. Let's get started. Okay, here is the calorie tracker that I created in previous episodes. As you can see here, I'm just recorded an apple and it's getting 55 calories. And okay, that's cool. But I noticed a problem in my application. Let me go here to add a new food. In this case, I'm going to add again an apple. And you might expect that I will get something like 55, right? Because it's what I just recently added. The thing is that once we save this, I got 52. So, okay, it's not too bad. And by the way, I'm adding the title here of an apple right away, just to save time. I'm pressing save again. And look how we are getting 150 now. And if we keep going, 165. Okay. So the results are getting a lot of variation and it's not consistent. And I mean, in this case, it's an apple, right? So it is not a, a meal prepared with something else. So it's just an apple. It technically it should be around the same, right? I'm not specifying the, the grams or something about it, but overall, I mean, if I'm asking you the calorie average of an apple, I should expect around the same, but that is not the case here. And in my opinion, I think we should get something more precise. Luckily, I found an option that make your responses more deterministic because by default, the token generated in uh, ChatGPT or the model you prefer, if you ask something, you will never get the same answer. Well, you, an average, you will get an, an average, the same answer, but the response, the actual response will not be the same. The word will be different and the explanation might uh, have little variation uh, depending on multiple circumstances. The models are created to make some adjustments and not always taking the more likely result. But in this case, if that's what you want, let me show you how to do it. Let me stop this for now. And let's just scroll down here. Here we have estimate calories, which is the method that is called in this form. Add form, add to form is what you saw earlier. And where is it? Generate nutrition information is here where we called this estimate calorie method. And this is found right here in the save button. So now let's go back here. Right now we have session.respond and we are providing the prompt that we want. Specifically, calculate the approximate calorie count for the meal with name, and we're providing the name. Additionally, in the previous episode, we added some meaningful instructions to the model to behave specifically about counting also the butter or oil, if it's necessary. If you want to learn more about it, there's a previous episode in the description below. But here, we are also uh, adding generating which is a parameter that is providing a type. And this is because we are not generating text. We are generating a specific type. We saw that in the first episode, by the way. Nutrition information, we're just generating calories. But there is way more parameters you can use here. For example, right now we are gen using generating, which is type, right? We have options, we have include schema, we have, and we have the prompt. We're going to explore all of them in detail in a later episode. But now, let me focus on options, which is the one we're going to see today. And specifically, right now, we are just generating a default generation option. This generation option has a set of configuration. One of them is sampling mode and has this comment is telling you it's a type that defines how the value are sampled from a probability distribution. Meaning that, what I said, the tokens generated as a response are not always provided in the same way. There is a little uh, variation depending on how the algorithm internally is working, but the idea is to adapt that to be more strict on always getting the same 
value if it's the most likely to be uh, the actual response or have some little variation just to make your response more rich. Let's call it that way. Maybe you want that. You don't want to be, let's call it robotic all the time. You want some uh, like a humans that I can explain this same episode in multiple ways if I record it tomorrow and two days later, right? I'm not will give you exactly the same words that I'm telling you right now, but here you can do that. So uh, there are a couple of configurations that we can talk. One is greedy. Greedy is a sampling mode that always uh, shows us the most likely token, meaning that it will just care about what is the most likely token. Greedy is one option, but you have also random, which is a little bit more flexible in the final result. And you can adjust this for some number of tokens and maybe even customize the seed, the seed, the random seed for the token generation. I would like to talk about random in a later episode because it contains a few more insight that you should know. Um, there is also another set uh, way of random with a probability threshold, etc. But uh, in the seed configuration, that if you want to learn more about how random numbers are generated, by the way, I have a video in the description as well. But today, let's focus on greedy because it's the simplest to understand. It's just getting the most likely token and you're good to go. Now, let's go back. How are we going to configure it? As you can see, we have generation options. Yes. So here we're going to use options and here we're going to create generation options. We're going to use sampling. Okay. And we're going to provide greedy. Right now, this is only what we need. With this configuration, let's see now what is the result. Let's run the app. And as I said, an apple is right here. Let's see a response. We click save. 150. Okay. Let's try again. 150 again. Okay. And I keep on and on and you will always get the same response. I think that's enough. Okay. In all the tries, I got 150. You got the point. In this case, I just passed from multiple results into just one single value. Of course, if I provide more details about this apple, the total calories will change. But specifically, inserting the same prompt, the same food title, I'm getting always the same value. In most apps, probably this is not needed. But if your app requires to provide precise data about something specific, like this case, well, setting generation option has greedy is a great choice for you. And it's just one line change. Now tell me, what do you think about this? Do you think this is a good feature for Foundation Models Framework? What else would like to see in a later episode? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if this video was useful, don't forget your like and subscription. My name is Pete, and this, this is Ifan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.